for more on what's happening on the ground there in Gaza. I'm joined live now by Harry Thorne, who's a documentary maker and activist. Harry, there are reports of airstrikes with civilians dying, including children. What have you seen so far? Well, so far we've seen an absolutely overburdened uh, hospital system, um, uh, health system here in Gaza. Uh, an emergency crisis uh, status was launched by them within an hour of the uh, Operation Pillar of Cloud being launched. As you said, we've seen at least three dead children, at least one woman. Uh, we've seen at least 90 uh, uh, injured um, in just one hospital. We've seen uh, burn victims, uh, many people giving um, anecdotal uh, reports that white phosphorus may be being used again here on the Gaza Strip. We've seen uh, naval attacks, uh, air attacks. I have to be honest with you, the situation is very, very grave and the Palestinian Gazan population are frankly ter uh, being terrorised as we speak. And presumably they're expecting more casualties because as I'm speaking to you, can you still hear more bombing taking place? Well, uh, only 10 minutes ago, we were hearing uh, bombing. Uh, yes, indeed. Um, we believe, as Israel, as, as listening to Israeli statements, that tomorrow they expect to have launched the ground incursion. So we, uh, internationals in the Gaza Strip, reporters uh, and activists and the Gazan people believe that this is a beginning of another full-scale war akin to that of winter 2008, winter 2009, named Operation Cast Lead. So I have to tell you, the situation is expected to get graver and graver. I spoke to a spokesperson from uh, the Israeli military. They're saying that these are limited targets that they're attacking. Uh, would you say that this is totally different from what you're seeing? If that was the case, we wouldn't be seeing so many civilians caught up in this. Well, Israel has its counter-terrorism policy and Israel is responsible for how it uses its military, which is one of the largest militaries and most powerful militaries in the world. And the way that is exacting its military force on the largely defenseless third world population of the Gaza Strip here in the Middle East is illegal in terms of international law, according to the on the, on the uh, ground, on the face of it facts. It's killing children and women. It's injuring scores of people. If it assassinates this one resistance member or this one resistance member, maybe that would be a, a a morally justifiable goal. I'm not going to pass a judgment on that. But the way that it tries to kill and assassinate these people is illegal because it's using indiscriminate and reckless amounts of force. Where are you at the moment? Are you in danger? Uh, I'm in central Gaza City in a, what's really, a, if you like, a quasi-green zone. I have to be honest with you that it's a quasi-green zone in the normal context, but tonight it's not a green zone because only 10 minutes ago this building uh, was, was uh, feeling the, the effects of nearby airstrikes. So nowhere is safe in Gaza tonight, Bill. Uh, you say there's a feeling of what, panic and terror amongst Gazans, presumably being able to speak to people, and this idea of an impending ground invasion, uh, what are the feelings about that? It, it, what, what are they expecting? After all, four years ago, there was a similar uh, assault, as it were, on the Gazans. I'll be absolutely honest with you. Earlier, one of my friends, her name is Rana, she witnessed the airstrike that started this conflict. She can't even talk now. She's in her uh, late teens. She can't talk about the violence that is being inflicted on the Gaza Strip. People are literally terrorised and traumatised by okay, what's going on. Just briefly, Harry, you're a documentary uh, maker. Are you presumably filming this? And, and if so, what do you hope to do with your, your footage? Well, at the moment, I'm providing a live stream uh, at Ustream.tv called Operation a Pillar of Cloud. I'm also producing documentary footage. And if things escalate into a ground incursion, damn right, I'm going to stay in the Gaza Strip and make the world see what Israel has done to the Gazan population. Harry Fear, stay safe. Thank you very much indeed for joining us live there in Gaza.